We've got a great buried treasure. It's Freedom Force, which was uh, developed by Irrational Games, which went on to become uh, a big time developer with the Bioshock franchise, and then they kind of disappeared, and we don't really know what's going on with Irrational. Uh, but back in the day, they made this Freedom Force game for the PC, which was uh, a strategy RPG type of experience where you could customize and create your own superhero and send them off into battle. And they built a really cool, complicated uh, comic booky story around this. And you could really go to town on customization. And man, was it fun. All kinds of destructibility in the environments, some cheesy over the top uh, storytelling, with some great flamboyant and flashy characters. And I am bringing this back up again because Ken Levine, who I've known and have been a friend with uh, uh, since I, we went out to visit those guys in Boston way back in 2000, 2001, uh, and I've interviewed him several times over the years. He's a wonderful dude, uh, but uh, I just recently posted this again for him to take a look at and get a smile because we did this crazy, weird uh, video where we dressed up in costumes and pretended to be superheroes. But that really made me reflect on how wonderful Freedom Force is. And in this era, this, this era where there's just this influx of superhero storytelling all the time in all kinds of media, man, is it time to have an overhead, you know, action, role-playing, strategic, uh, experience like Freedom Force was. There was also a killer sequel for this title, and these games would be amazing on a, a mobile device. I would love to play Freedom Force 1 or 2 on uh, on an iPad. That would be great, but come on, 2K, if you... I can't even remember who published these games originally, but uh, I think 2K ended up buying Irrational, so they probably... Somewhere, somebody owns the rights to this damn franchise, and we want more Freedom Force, but until then, Freedom Force qualifies as an excellent buried treasure.